friends welcome back to my channel in today's episode you will learn how to make a soft and moist chocolate cake recipe without oven no mixer no eggs no steam at the same time no water guys the depth of flavor in this chocolate cake is super delicious incredibly awesome rich and absolutely incredible don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel share my video with your friends and loved ones let's get right into it thank you The very first thing we are going to do now is to prepare the wet mixture. So I've placed a little pot. So first, I will measure three cups of milk. About two tablespoons of butter. Transfer this on my heat surface to allow it to melt completely. At the same time, I want this milk to be extremely very hot before we make use of it. My last step and procedure is taking place. I'll bring in a large bowl here to combine all the dry ingredients. For this recipe, I have here two cups of all purpose flour. First, we'll use cake flour as substitute. I'll bring in two cups of sugar. This is the very first one. And this is the second cup of sugar. Introducing the next ingredient, I'll be using one fourth teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of vanilla powdered sugar. Bring in a mixture of baking soda and baking powder. To this, I am using two teaspoons of each. This recipe, I'll be using one full cup of cocoa powder. how simple it is to make a cake so with the help of my spatula now everything here a gentle mix all right so the mixture is completely ready when you can no longer see any traces of white ingredients inside have an even tone and appearance like this it then means that it is perfectly ready to create a hole in the middle of this bowl to this i'm going to add now the wet ingredient one third cup of sunflower oil one tablespoon of vanilla aroma one and a half teaspoon of apple cider vinegar and also use a lemon juice milk is now perfectly heated okay it's going to help the cocoa powder to melt as fast as possible and that's um, gradually okay mix 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 until everything is okay but you don't have to over mix it At this point in time, you have to be very careful. Make sure you don't over mix. Once everything is uniformly combined, you just remove your hand from the batter. Using the spatula to combine for an even appearance. Right now, the consistency of the batter is perfect. Cocoa powder is completely melted. Set this aside and allow it to rest for about 10 minutes before I make use of it. Cake batter is busy resting. We are going ahead to preheat our... You can either choose to leave your pot empty, but I'm going to use some salt. Into it, I'll place in a rack just yes. so that the cake will not sit at the base of the pot. Turn my heat to the medium settings. We heat this pot for exactly 10 good minutes. point in time we have to now pour in the cake batter is set before i do that i'm going to give it a gentle mix once again all right tapping the cake pan is extremely necessary that way the air bubbles is going to release the cooker settings is between 0 to number 9 and right now I'm going to be baking this cake on number 3 to 4 heat Yes, so the pot is now extremely heated and very hot So into it we are going to transfer the cake batter Just cover this pot I'm going to bake that cake for exactly 1 hour 30 good minutes, okay? Yes, so at least for the first 40 minutes, do not open it Allow the cake to have the opportunity to rise all right guys 40 minutes later oh my goodness that's what we are having after 40 minutes it's not yet completely ready but you can see what we are having here oh my it looks so beautiful 
Alright, this is about 30 minutes later. Oh my goodness, everything is now perfectly ready. I hope you saw that steam keyword to pierce inside it. If it comes out very smooth like this, then it means it is ready. You see that? So the cake is now perfectly ready. We are going to set it out. down completely this step is very very important before you make use of your cake to do anything okay to the glass bowl i'll add 200 grams of finest dark chocolate this is the brand i'm using you can feel free to use any dark chocolate of your choice you will need one tablespoon of butter 125 ml of milk put some water boiling in the pot i'll put it inside the water and then melt it One tablespoon of sugar. Mix everything to combine very well until it is smooth in appearance, then you set it out. of our cake looking so beautiful just carefully use your spatula and then spread the chocolate on the body of the cake you're going to chill it in the fridge for 30 minutes or you can leave it here for the chocolate to set my beautiful and amazing friends thank you so much for spending time with me on today's video here we are going to draw the cutting for today's recipe i hope you have enjoyed it if you have don't forget to like subscribe share my video with your friends and loved ones if you try this video please drop your comment for me at the comment section i would love to read from you to see how it turned out for you remember variety is the spice of life Keep loving, keep sharing. God bless you. Until I come your way next time, stay blessed. And guys, you're going to enjoy this fabulous, delicious cake. Trust me on that. Bye for now. <laughs>